Hello everyone, it's Jess and welcome to my channel. For today's message on April 17th, 2023, I'll be using the Spirit Animal Oracle by Colette Baron reed Absolutely love this deck, love animal spirits. So we will jump right in. Off camera, I went ahead and shuffled and cut the de deck. Now we're just releasing any negative energy that might be attached. Divine guidance, spirit guides, peace, love, and light. What does the collective need to hear today? What animal message do we need? Ooh, we lost the deck, but this popped out just in time. So I am going to take it. All right. We've got number 53. And like how I always mention in every single video, because I'm a big supporter of numerology and the numbers in the universe having messages for us. So what I'd like to offer you today is to please review your resources, do your Google searches, and look for those resources so that you if indeed, if you're seeing those repeating numbers, you can find those additional messages there, okay? So again, 53, okay? If you're seeing that number, that might have an additional message for you today, all right? So we're looking at the seahorse spirit, okay? And watch and wait is what it kind of alludes to there and, and um says is kind of the main focus of this card is watching and waiting. Now, seahorse, seahorses live in salt water, don't they? Okay, so this message might be particularly for you if you live by the ocean, okay? If you have an aquarium with a pet seahorse, this message could be for you. If you have a fear of seahorses, this message could be for you, okay? So just take what resonates today and leave the rest. All right, we're gonna jump right into the booklet here for seahorse, okay? All right, now there is quite a bit of information within the booklet, different um, topics, you know, oracle message, the protection message. So I am called to read all of it today. Typically I pick and choose pieces that are resonating, but today I feel the need to read the whole booklet message, okay? So here we go. The Oracle message. Hovering gracefully, the seahorse observes with the perspective of with the perspective of one who is not engulfed by the drama interesting remaining at a distance from all the turbulence have you ever seen a seahorse in real life you know on a nature show they show those seahorses and what do they do well they use their tail and they hold on to the foliage around them you know the plants and different things and then they just kind of anchor themselves there and they go with the flow the ebb and the flow of the waves and how the ocean you know ebbs and flows. The seahorse kind of rides the waves, all right? Seahorse spirit appears at this time to remind you of the need to be neutral and gain perspective. Very interesting. Okay. Your message from seahorse spirit is, not my circus, not my monkeys. Ooh, I've heard that one before. Absolutely. Is it your drama? Or are you just being an observation or observing rather? Is it somebody else's drama that you happen to be pulled into? You know, where does one person's drama end and yours begin? You know, that is really a, a clear cut message here is do not take on other people's drama as your own. Not my circus, not my monkeys, okay? Spirit wants you to know that even if you are tempted to jump into the fray and try to fix things, okay, the best way to serve yourself and others right now is to remain calm and simply watch and see what happens, okay? Another message here is whatever your query, whatever you're asking about, Seahorse Spirit asks you to step back from it, okay? Be willing to explore things from a different angles rather than a single one, okay? Rather than getting stuck in that 
It only can be this, okay? And just observe what is possible, all the possibilities. From the perspective of the position of a neutral observer, you will discover a myriad of opportunities and a deeper understanding of what you seek and why. And you will know beauty, truth, love, and wisdom if you just observe, okay? Your protection message. Are you holding on to judgment? Sure that your perspective is the only correct way to look at things. Isn't that a life lesson in itself? Thinking that we are always right. Thinking that our perspective is the only one that is correct. Well, I'm here to tell you that that is not correct, okay? Life is full of perspectives. And in order to learn, in order to grow, it is good to be open to hearing and listening and taking on different perspectives. Doesn't mean we have to take those on as our own, but just to open up the different perspectives and abilities to see the other side of the story from somebody else, correct? All right. There are, there are as many perspectives as there are creatures in the sea. Isn't that interesting and absolutely true, okay? And when seahorse spirit appears, you are reminded to detach from the experience so you can view it from more than one angle, okay? Pay attention to your hidden beliefs and how they affect the way you think, feel, and act, all right? Are you being fair to all involved? Are you being fair to all involved? Or do you need to step back and consider another perspective and consider something new, okay? A new way of looking at things. Perhaps the drama you have been drawn into is your own, okay? Whatever the actions of the others, your challenge is to be non-reactive. A lot easier said than done sometimes. Not take their words or behaviors personally, okay? People usually react from the state of how they're feeling on the inside, and it isn't personal. It really isn't about us, okay? Their turbulence may have little to do with you, actually. So remain neutral until you know more. Makes sense to me. Your perspective may be quite different in time, right? So we may have certain beliefs, okay? And we may have grown up with certain belief systems, but through life experience, some of those perspectives have changed, all right? And that is okay. That is how we grow. What a wonderful message today to really think about that. You know, just sit back and observe, right? Take in the perspectives of others just for different perspective, just for trying to think about how it's like to walk in someone else's shoes, you know, pick their brain, see what they're thinking, all right? Like I said, you don't have to take it on as your own, but you grow when you hear and think about how it must feel to adopt certain perspectives, and that's okay. Just take some time to observe. I hope you have a great day. Thank you for your likes, your subscribes, your comments. I appreciate every single one of you. I hope that you can go about your day considering ways that you can just observe and take in other perspective. Have a great day. Thank you so much for your time. Be a good human, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.